Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to be talking about a classic children's book that I'm pretty sure that we've all read, um, and that's Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Um, I bought this book over spring break because I've been wanting it for a while, and it was on sale at Target. <laughs> and the book's a little different than I kind of remembered it as a kid, but I remember really liking it when I was a kid. It was one of my favorite books growing up. Um, and one of the things I didn't really realize when I returned to the book was that all of the things that go on in the book actually seem like they happen all in, like, Max's room. Uh, so I thought that was kind of interesting that I didn't really pick up on that when I was a kid, but I did as a 20-year-old. Um, so here's the Caldecott, at the Caldecott winning Where the Wild Things Are. Um... I'll read a little bit of it. Not that you guys don't know the story, but... The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Um, this is my favorite part. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Um, and what's interesting, I think, is that the way that the pictures change, you know, if you notice, like, they seem like they get bigger, you know, as things go on, and his room continues to grow until, you know, they're full page illustrations when he's in with the wild things and his imagination and everything, and then when he get, is in his room, his regular room, then the pictures are smaller, um, which is just kind of interesting that the, that's the way the illustrations move throughout the book. Um, we're not going to talk a lot about this book because I'm sure everybody has read it. I've never used it for tutoring, but it was on my shelf and I was like, I should talk about that book today. Um, but I have seen the movie and I really liked the movie, but I know a lot of people didn't. So I'm interested to see if you have seen the movie, what you thought of it, if you thought it was like the book. I mean, obviously it's not like the book, but I got kind of the... You know, it's based off of the David Eggers book, the movie is, not off of the Tolman's book, which I haven't read the Dave Eggers book. I'm planning on reading it soon, though. And if you've read the Dave Eggers book, then I would love to hear your opinion um, on that. So, basically, it's just kind of a free-for-all, and any opinions on where the wild things and the wild things and where the wild things are, the movie, uh, are welcome. And I hope you enjoyed revisiting the beginning of this book and maybe you'll go pick it up and finish it off yourself. <laughs> Alright.